Yo guys, what is up? This is gonna be uh, kind of a, a vlog style, I guess, so apologies for the lighting in the basement here. But yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about push-ups. Push-ups are gonna become a big part, well, not a big part, but they're gonna become a part of our lives because we are going to get really damn good at them. Why push-ups? Push-ups because really good for the core, the uh, general strength, upper body strength, um, uh, power to weight ratio. The cool thing about a push-up is it doesn't matter if you're the biggest guy on the team, Joshua Ricky, or you're the shortest guy on the team, I guess me, Griffin, us little guys, right? It doesn't matter how strong you are in a raw sense, but it's about how strong you are relative to your weight. So everyone's got a fighting chance to be the best push-up guy on the squad. Now, of course, we're going to challenge ourselves individually and see how far we can get, how strong we can get, how many good quality push-ups we can get in a row. But the biggest thing is going to be, as a team, um, we're going to set a pretty, uh, I think it's a decent decent goal. I know we can achieve it. Um, we're going to set a goal of everyone on the squad has to make, has to get to a point where they can do 50 push-ups in a row, bang, any time of the day. So, um, look, it may take some people a little quicker to get there than others because maybe you're already there, like close-ish, maybe doing 25, 30 already. Um, and those guys, who knows, right? You could take it, you could, I think there's some guys in this team who could probably get to 100, no problem. Um, you know, obviously with the work. Um, but it's 50 is a goal that I know we can all get to. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to see who can get the most, right? So at the end of the season, we'll see who can flat out do just power out the most. Uh, and then we'll, we'll have a look and see who, uh, improved the most as well. Cause one thing we're going to do, uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow is we're going to set a baseline. We're going to set a starting point. And your starting point is going to be your max. Like your as you as you currently stand, where you are is gonna be your maximum push-ups you can do in a row right now. Like and that's gonna be your starting point. Now it could be twenty, right? It could be fifteen, uh, or it could be three, right? Regular push ups, chest to the ground, it could be whatever number. It doesn't matter where you start from. As a team, we just all have to get to 50. And individually, we'll see well, where, some, where some of us can go as far as the high number. It's going to be interesting. Um, but the, your starting point, like where your maximum is at the start, is going to set how your personal routine goes um, from there on. I'll explain a little bit more about how that's going to work, but essentially it just means, look, if I can do 10, like straight at the start, then I'm going to do reps of 8, 6, 4, 2. So I'll do 8, 10 seconds, 30 seconds off, 6, 10 seconds off, 30 seconds off, 4, 30 seconds off, and then 2. That'll be one rep, and then I'm going to do 3 reps of those. But if my max starting out is 20, then it's going to be slightly different. I'll probably start, I'll do like 15, 30 second break, 10, 30 second break, 7. And that'll be one rep. There's a chart I'm going to post in the Shipley Net in our little discussion board place that is going to explain all that. But just to give you guys an idea what the starting point, like how, and what it refers to. That's kind of all it is, okay? It's just to uh, give you guys an indicator of where you're gonna start as far as your repetitions. Um, it would be great if we all started, um, you know, kind of around that 10, but if you if your max is three, that's fine. Um, and we'll talk about, talk about that too, like what your routine will be. Uh, so, yeah, let's get it cracking. I'm gonna, one of the biggest things, one of the most important things in this challenge is technique like anything you do in life pretty much 
a thing done well is how you're going to get the most out of it, okay? Same thing when you're hitting a forehand, right? Your technique is super important. I'd rather miss, you know, a forehand, but with good technique, when I trusted my shot, you know, than make a shot that I just manufactured, just got there, right? Not because, clearly because I don't care about winning the point. What's more important is I play the way I want to play, right? I want to be the player, play like the player I want to become. So in the same way, we're going to do our push-ups like the, like the person we want to become, like the push-up star we want to become. So we're not going to cheat. We're not going to take any shortcuts. We're going to do them properly. Your last rep is your most important rep, right? Your last push-up is your most important push-up. If you can't do the quality in that push-up, you didn't make it, right? You didn't make it. So... Uh, we'll take quality over quantity, and the quantity will take care of itself as long as we take care of that quality. So I'm going to do my base right now. I haven't done a push-up in a long time, probably probably three years, um, something like that. I used to do a bunch of them, but uh, honestly, I've just been, I guess, lazy. I've been focusing way more on cardio and legs and core more than I have upper body strength because I mean I haven't had any shoulder issues or anything like that to really motivate me to get strong up there so this is going to be great I'm excited to do this challenge with you guys so I'm going to do my base now whatever it is I really don't know what it's going to be I'm hoping it's something like 15 or 20 I'd like to start around there but uh, um, we'll see maybe I maybe I can't get there we'll see so I'll do I'll do my max, so this is gonna be the max I can do with quality. If I don't make a push-up, if I do a push-up without and sacrifice quality, it doesn't count, right? That's not it's 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 as most as I can do with the quality that I want, right? With the quality I insist on. Uh what is the quality? What is the technique? Well, I've got to make sure that my butt is sitting low, right? Flat, my body is like a plank, right? Not like this. Jamie Slater, right? These ones? No. We're going to be flat like this, and I'm going to go down, and then up, down, and then up, right? When I go down, I go chest all the way to the ground. I'm actually going to be using these. Oh, I'm going to be using these. Uh, they're called like perfect push-up things. Um, you don't need these. Uh, but these allow, these actually rotate and they allow for greater range of motion. So you can actually get your chest even lower. Um, but it just makes it easier so that the, I mean, the grip is nicer, right? So your hands aren't flat on the ground. And then also, um, yeah, it rotates a bit. So that's a little bit user friendly. But then also you can get lower and you don't, I can go down to, say, my wrists um, without having to touch the ground. <coughs> and then go back up, which is nice. Or I can go even lower. Um, so these are handy. Also, you might be able to find like, just like pull up or push up uh, bars where they don't rotate like on a wheelie base. They just, they're static, so they just sit like, wait, they just sit like that, and then you go up and down like that. Um, or you can just do, use your hands. Um, I'll be doing some with just my hands. Um, you know, just to show you guys, hey, you can do it with your hands. Um, but I'll be doing a lot with these things just because it's a little bit kind of user-friendly. And uh, I'll be doing my max on these right now as well. So, chest to the ground. Keep your body, keep your body like a flat board. And you're just going up and down, up and down, keeping that core nice and strong. All right, enough talking. Let's do it. All right, well, I hope you guys can see. Now I've put these kind of about shoulder, shoulder distance apart. If you go wider, you use more chest. If you go narrower, you're going to use more tricep. I'm going to go about shoulder width, which is somewhere in the middle. All right, so I'm going to set my max. There's no time limit. It's just the max I can do. 
uh, to absolute muscle fatigue and that's going to be it and that's going to be my starting point and that's going to dictate where my routine starts um, moving forward from here. All right, let's do it. I think I can do one more. Three. Oh. Okay, so that was 25, I think. With good quality. I think I probably could have got a couple more uh, if I didn't want to sacrifice the quality. I think I probably could have done a couple more, but I wanted to make sure that it was tidy um, and I went down all the way, went up all the way and kept my form good. So that's 25. Uh, as you'll see, there's a chart that's going to show me uh, where I'm going to start my workouts and how my routine's going to go, having done 25. Ah, it's actually right here, just to give you an idea. So. I'm not sure if you can see, but okay, so 20 max, 30 max. Well, I didn't get to 30. I only got 25. So that means I'm going to start at this 20. So that means my routine is going to be, I'm going to do a set of, I'm going to do 14. I'm going to take 30 second break. I'm going to do 10. 30 second break. I'm going to do six. That's going to be one rep. And then I'm going to do another rep. Another full rep, and then another full rep, and that's going to be one day's push-up workout challenge objective completed for that day. The next day is going to be a rest, and then the next day, well, I'll be back on it with my routine, and then next day rest, next day back on it. Um, you see that from the calendar here, which is also I'm going to post to the discussion board so you guys have that too. Hopefully that's clear. We're going to go over stuff anyway tomorrow, but yeah, just wanted to get a baseline done, show you how to do it, and uh, yeah, let's do this thing. <laughs> 